Welcome to another Webflow tutorial. My name is Jasper and what we're going to be covering today is how to use Lottie animations within your Webflow website. So as you can see here, I've got this little animation going on here and this is a Lottie file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump out. Now I'm going to delete that so we can start for fresh. Now this is just a simple page, um, no sections, no body, no nothing, just a bare minimum. But first we're going to need to find our Lottie file. So a good website to find Lottie files is lottiefiles.com. Uh, it's got plenty of free different uh, Lottie files that you can use. So you can jump in there and find one that you like. Now for this uh, tutorial, what I did is I chose this one here, as you just saw. Now once you've found the Lottie animation that you want to use, all you've got to do is download it. So you're going to click this little download button and the one you're going to want to pick is Lottie JSON. So J-S-O-N and you want to use that file type. So download it. I don't need to in this case as I already have. And what that's going to look like is all this code. Not that you need to worry because you're not going to use any. Um, and then you're going to jump back into your Webflow website. And then first off, we're going to need a Lottie block. So we've got that there. So I'm going to drop that in. Now, just for this tutorial, we're going to make it a bit smaller. There we go, so 500. And then we're going to go replace. And as I said, already got one there. You will need to upload yours. So once you go replace, you'll upload your JSON Lottie file, select it, and then you're gonna have a range of settings here. So it's usually best to use the built-in duration. So that's the, um, basically the time it's running that you saw um, that's built into the actual animation itself. You can go custom where you can do your own sort of timing, um, but it's not recommended if you don't know what you're doing. Now you want to set it to loop, so loop means it will go over and over again, so it doesn't play once, so a lot of people fall into that trap where their animation will play once on the screen and that's it, this is why. So you've got to set it to loop, so we'll do it again and again, and it is usually best to keep it as SVG, as um, it's a good format to have on your website. Okay, so that's all we've done there, just that simple, and there you have it. You've got a working Lottie animation built directly into, into your website. I will leave a link uh, to this website here, so Lottie Files, um, it's free to use and I'm not affiliated in any way, but um, it is a good little asset to have um, when you need it. Um, and always, uh, if you do like the content, subscribe, and I have been using a new sort of project management, um, sales management as well, tool called monday.com. Uh, you'll find a link to that in the description where you can get a lifelong free account, so you'll never have to pay for it. It's um, a great tool just for managing projects, uh, your leads, some um, contacts, everything like that, and really just helps you keep control of it. But um, yeah, you can find the link in the description below and learn more about it. Thanks for watching the video and look forward to seeing you in the next one.